Hello Pisces and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot for your mid-March reading. We'll go ahead and get this reading started here. Now I do want to thank you Pisces for stopping by. I just feel so blessed and, and just, um, just loved, you know, all the love that you guys have shown Spiritual Wellness Tarot. I send it right back to you. I hope you feel it also. Let's go ahead and get the reading started here Pisces. We've got the Five of Cups, we've got the High Priestess, we've got the Ace of Cups, and we have the Queen of Wands. Beautiful, right? We're going to go ahead and get things started right now, Pisces, for you. Now, I do want to go ahead and invite you to um, watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign, so you can go ahead and go get that overall energy for the last couple weeks of March. Get two more cards here, and then we'll get started on reading. All right. Okay, Pisces. So we're going to start off with the Five of Cups that you have right there. So the Five of Cups is, you know, you could feel a little bit sorrow, right? You could feel a little unloved, not, you know, not realizing the blessings that you have. And that's what's going on here, right? Um, you know, might have had a, a change of of events in your life recently, right? And you're just feeling kind of lost, right? You don't really know exactly where to go. Well, with the high priestess coming right behind that, realize that you need to trust yourself, Pisces. You need to trust your intuition. And and if something happened um, that you know that you really didn't expect or didn't want to happen, know that that you know when one door closes, another one opens up, right? And trust your intuition. We know Pisces, you know, being the water sign as as Cancer and Scorpio, your intuition is very strong. So definitely trust that intuition. We have the Ace of Cups, all about good health, right? Joy, um, being happy, being a beautiful person. So it's so things are looking up whatever this was, you know, what was going on. If you did have a situation that was not, you know, was not quite right, not, not working out for you. And we've got the Queen of Wands, who is a feisty person, right? And Pisces, you can be feisty too, right? You can go ahead and be self-assured and attract the attention that you need, right? Command that attention that you need for this beautiful, beautiful you know, life that you have ahead of you. Let's go ahead and get some clarifiers for the cards here, Pisces. So whatever, you know, whatever is not serving you now or, or what, you know, you're having some feelings of loss or whatever, know that you've got things that are coming up, right? Know that you, that there's, there's a reason for it, right? And that's, and it's time for you to go ahead and move. Wow. We've got two of them for the for that. <laughs> yes, yeah, so realize that things are going to be looking up for you, Pisces, right? You got the sun and the king of swords. Let's get a clarifier for this high priestess, please. Clarifier for the high priestess here. Angels and spirit guides. We've got the temperance. Time for some balance, right? Exactly. Seven of swords. Time to, to move forward. You know, you got to leave a little bit behind there. And you have Celebration, the Three of Cups. All right, so on your, on your little sorrow, not feeling, not feeling the love, right? Feeling kind of lost. Maybe you lost a job. Maybe you lost a lover, right? Or it could be something, you know, something pretty simple. But whatever it is, know that the sun is going to come out. You're going to have success. You're going to be accomplished, right? You've got the King of Swords. The King of Swords is a powerful strategic leader time for you to be that strong leader just like this queen of wands right time for you to be successful and leave this leave this loss this feeling of loss the feeling of abandonment aside now you've got the temperance on top of the high priestess the temperance is about balance harmony patience she's a very good influence right and when you've got this high priestess uh, you know trusting yourself trusting your intuition you're good you're good you're good to go you're good to move forward oops all right so you have the seven of swords and the seven of swords is you know running away you know try and see how he's he's got these two swords here he grabbed these five swords right he's ready to move he's ready to leave he wants something new right 
um, you know, he's he's thinking that somebody's going to come after him, maybe betray him or something. But realize that everything is going to be good, right? He's got his swords. He's moving forward. Time for a new journey. Time for him to move forward and be happy, right? Have the celebration of the Three of Cups. Have this love for life, right? Have the have the hospitality of serving and helping people being this queen of wands right have the have the ability to show that life is good you can move forward from things that do not serve you right let's go ahead and get this last week of march out we've got the page of wands ace of pentacles the star beautiful and the ace of wands beautiful right so we've got, wow, so we've got the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups. Wonderful, right? New beginnings are coming. <laughs> New beginnings are definitely coming. With these three Aces here, basically they, they're known as the number ones, right? Which is all about new beginnings. You've got this. You've got this coming. With the Sun and the Star, dang, Pisces, you are on it. Page of Wands. Look, and I thought I saw another page. Maybe it was another reading. You've got the page of wands here, which is all about being that active kid, looking into new projects to try, right? A creative idea. You know, kids sometimes come up with the silliest ideas, but you know what? They work for them, right? And sometimes they work for us adults too. So, so be that active kid, right? Get a new project. Start a new idea with this Ace of Pentacles. Again, a new idea, new income coming to you, new new prosperity coming to you, right? Time for you to either get a raise, um, maybe get a promotion, maybe start a new side hustle, right? Since the aces, since you've got the three aces here, new beginnings are happening. And again, that can that can be in love, in business, even in a family life, right? Could be new beginnings are coming to you to go ahead and make you the star, right? Have the balance. Have faith in yourself, Pisces. Have faith in yourself. You know to go ahead and trust that intuition. This Ace of Wands, again, new ideas, right? Have you been have you been having an urge to start a new business? To start um, maybe a, a new family? To, to get a new family member? Maybe a dog, a cat? Um, or, you know, maybe a child. Have you have you been thinking about a new creative idea? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know, um, you know, if you are thinking about new ideas and, and what to go ahead and move forward to. All right, let's get some cards here. Oh, my God. Pisces, look at the Wheel of Fortune. Holy snap, the Fool. Justice. Damn. Oh, my God, lovers. Look at all the major arcana, Pisces. Jeez, criminy. All right, so we've got the Seven of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Fool here. We've got the Justice. We've got the Lover. Snap. Look at this. This is crazy. We've got one, two, um, three, four, five, six major arcanas. This is crazy, Pisces. This is crazy. All right, so with your Page of Wands, right, with the Page of Wands, who's that active project or that action, active little kid that likes to start new projects, you've got the Seven of Wands. Now, the Seven of Wands is about competition, right? And anytime we start something new, we have competition, whether it's, it's um, you know, a new job, maybe a new... Um, Oh gosh, maybe you're getting a new a new family member like we talked about over here. There's always going to be some challenges, right? But you can overcome these challenges. You have this queen, right? You can overcome these challenges. You can become balanced. And along with this wheel of fortune, you've got it made, right? You've got good fortune. You have a turning point coming on. This is wonderful, Pisces. Then you've got the fool. Again, new possibilities. You've got new beginnings coming, Pisces. I mean, you just you just need to go ahead and accept it and realize that those new beginnings are coming and you embrace them, right? Embrace them. Trust your intuition on what is going to serve you and what is not. Get some balance. You've got the star with the justice. The star, all about renewal, 
faith, right? All about inner, inner clarity, all about balance. And then when you have the justice on top of it, you are going to go ahead and start feeling that balance. You're going to go ahead and start feeling things, the truth come out, right? You're going to start feeling your intuition and understanding it. And then you're going to end off with the lovers, right? Now the lovers doesn't have to really mean that you have a new lover, right? But it could mean that you have a new love coming in. But if this is a business reading or if it's a family reading, you already have your lover, right? Could be just a new partnership coming in, right? Could be something's going to go ahead and give you some harmony, give you some choices, right? Might be time to go ahead and ask your spouse, you know, about some different choices. Go ahead and get some clarifying um, you know, what do they want to go ahead and see in, in your relationship? How would they like to move forward in your relationship? But this is, I mean, you've got new beginnings left and right around here, Pisces. So definitely trust that intuition that you've got coming in here. Let's see. I'm going to shuffle these here one more time. We'll get some clarifiers, some more clarifiers here, Pisces. This is wonderful, though. Look at all of the major arcanas for you. The sunshine, all the yellow, things are going to be, they're rocking for you, Pisces. All right. You, the muse. That's right. You are. I mean, just look at what you've got here, right? Time for you to go forward. There we go. We've got two more here. Fall in love with your own story. Definitely. You need to fall in love with what you want to go ahead and do. How do you want the new lovers to come in? How do you want a new partnership to come in, right? How do you want to go ahead and feel when all the success comes in? Ambush fear with your ferocious dream. Beautiful, right? And that the dreaming comes along with your intuition, right, Pisces? Whatever you know is going on, and it doesn't have to physically be a dream that you dream like when you're going to bed or whatever. But what are your dreams, right? Be ferocious with them, get them going, get them moving. So you do have this wheel of fortune, you do have the fortune of the sun coming to you, you do have those new opportunities, a new path, an adventurous path like this fool. Let's get a couple angel cards here. Let's get a couple angel cards here, and we'll get going here. Okay, let go. That's right. Let go of what is not serving you, right? Go ahead and remove yourself from the castle that is not serving you and move forward onto your new journey. No. Okay, so no to the stinking thinking, right? No to not realizing that, you know, you can... You cannot change. You can change, Pisces. You can go ahead and change. You do have the love that is coming. You do have the knowledge, the strength of this King of Swords, the feistiness of this Queen of Wands. You have got this. Great, great reading. New beginnings are coming to you, Pisces. All right. Until next time, I love you all. Namaste.